have fun with the money. And God tells me to sow. Each time I did it, and within two to three months, I got back twice what I had given up. And that's just in the first two to three months of that year, not counting the rest of the year. Your stewardship of money. This is when it comes to finances and stewarding finances. Amen. We handle money. You can start to think wrong thoughts about money. How to handle it, how to steward it, how to give, when to give, when not to give. Emotional about money. Directly connected to money. I would put a gun to their head to take their money. It's connected to money. Connected with money. Bad. We're not tithing every time God told us to tithe. We've all committed sins connected to money. In our well, guess what? God's gonna, not going to give you the million bucks when he can't trust you with it. See, this, my ministry is bringing in millions of dollars. This is not a brag. It's finances. A lot of money. But God's give financial prosperity. And the devil does not want you to prosper. He, you know, sowing into ministries, sowing into, into churches, sowing into projects. Our financial increase. Streams of income. It's the financial realm. Tithing opportunities. Anytime. So if you're thinking wrong about your money, send your money up. That's controlling my finances. I've had two six-figure gifts given to this ministry in the last year. I'm financially increasing. Not tithing when I'm supposed to tithe. Maybe they've been thinking wrong about money. Or they've been hiding money spending from their spouse. I repent for that. (laughs) He hates when I give away money. Well, he loves giving away money. I'll take it back. He just doesn't. He likes to do it with me. (laughs) Drain. On your finances, cause you to spring forward in your, in the area of your finances. We forgive ourselves for the mistakes we've made with our money. It's about finances with my money. Distance against your finances breaks. And here God promises to bless a thousand times more than we are at this moment. Bless you more than you are, as he has promised you. Now, does that include finances? That qualifies as money. It was money. We can definitely receive this thousandfold increase if we put our faith on it and really believe it. And I said, what's that, Lord? He said, you've struck oil, and it's right at your fingertips. It's a six-figure check. There's a thousandfold financial increase happening right now. He goes, he needed the money. He needed the, the inflow of cash. And it was a $350,000 miracle for pastor. Go throw 10 bucks in the bu- bucket. So he, next day, a guy he's never met in his life comes up to him and says, I don't know why, but I'm supposed to give you $10,000 check. They have a few dollars. They walk up, they put it in the bucket and they check in the mail from a closed case for $45,000. She's got no money, nothing. She comes out and she puts some money in the bucket, the $5,000 check in it. Throws what money she's got into the bucket. Since the box God had created the money in the box. Don't think God can't create money for you. He can. He made money. He can create money. He owns money. He doesn't need money, but he can make money. I didn't have any money and all the broke people, poor people come in every Sunday, you know. They're not preaching. And I'm like, look, in order to have this, you've got to sow a seed. And I know many of you don't even have a seed, but I'm sure you have at least a penny in your pocket. Whatever you got, no matter what it is, come up here and sow into this anointing so you can get that thousandfold man on your life and see miracles for your life. And oh my gosh. I said, I know I'm not. I didn't come here to take your money. I know you don't have any money. Right? And I'm going for it, right? So they like pulling out their little thing and then putting it in the envelope the giving envelope it's a little jingle bag jing 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 they believe they had more money <laughs> got another six figure gift given to us record offerings given to them and then the- for my savings account it's for my pocketbook say lord tell me what to sow right now in this moment in order to have a harvest i need to sow a seed cuz you want to see that i trust you and I'm going to sow. Remember, you do have to sow a seed in order to get a harvest. Now, I'm not trying to get your money. You're going to be led by the Holy Spirit, not by me. Holy Spirit will tell you what to do. You know, sow $111 a year or $111 a month. Or if you're broke, sow, you know, $11 and one cent. But God will speak to you right now. So let's listen. Now, if you've gotten a number, go ahead and raise your hand in the air. Let me see if you got Okay, can we have uh, the... Ushers passing out the envelopes. And you know, you can make checks out to XP Shiloh. I'm about to pray an impartation over you. And you will receive it. Because my words will be carried in the frequencies over the signal of the web stream into your home. 
right now. And there's a donate button there that you can donate either from a credit card or even from PayPal. If you have a PayPal account already set up, that will make it very easy for you. But don't miss out on getting the mantle that I'm about to release. Okay, so that they can live the abundant life that Jesus came for them to live. So I release right now in the name of Jesus impartation for the Deuteronomy 111 thousand fold increase to all of Shiloh members that are watching right now online receive the anointing now right now just touch the screen reach out and grab it